You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and Merry Christmas to everybody out there who's watching this on Christmas Day of 2016, because that's when the video was released. And thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully you caught all the Christmas videos that I did for 2016. If not, look in that description. There will be a playlist there. It is the Crayola Gingerbread House Kit. No baking required. And right there in the front, it tells you it gets assorted candy, the setup tray, the gingerbread house panels, pre-mixed icing tubes in white, red, yellow, green, and blue. Can't wait to put this one together for you. It is from B. Now, I got this at a local grocery store called Jewel Foods. Please read all instructions before starting adult supervision, rec uh, supervision recommended. Now, I've done these kits before, so it's a matter of just putting that house together in the tray. So let me do this while we're here. I won't stop here. We'll go right in to checking out what's in the kit. Let's see. Here we go. Aha, so this probably, this needs to be cut out because this is your assembly area tray. You've got these kind of like button candies, gummy candies, and then these flower shaped hard candies. Okay, and then here is the kit and the panels. I won't take those out just yet. And here is my frosting. I'm curious most about the frosting. Actually, how much that was in each of these. All right, here we go. Oh, hopefully it doesn't. There we go. So I've got the yellow Crayola, and it's made to look like ooh, it's taped even more all around. All right, I'll leave it like that. I want to rip it apart. But look at that. It's shaped like a Crayola crayon in the four colors. So that's not a lot, but it's enough probably to add a little accent color here and there on the project. And then you get the bigger bag. Of the white. Now most of the time this needs to be kneaded like other kits. So when I come back then I'll have these panels. Well you know what let me just cut them out now. They look like they're all in good shape. That's what you kind of worry about when it's shipped in a box like that. Is something gonna get crushed? And look they're all all good. No cracks. You've got the front and the back. The same design. You've got your sides and then you've got your top. And there you go. Okay, everything's good. So I will come back, I will get started, and build my gingerbread house. All right, here we go, scene change. I found this nice cutting board for Christmas this year, and I'm finally getting to use it in a video. Now they want you to take aluminum foil. They want you to cut a base bigger than the green section. Let me cut that green section out so that you have more area to decorate. So this is the one I'm going to cut out of the tray here. Now you need room around the edges so that you can build your house. Okay, so a little bit bigger than that. So you got a little more room for decorating. That's done. And then cover this in aluminum foil so that you have an area to put your frosting on. You don't want to put it on cardboard. And then that's your whole setup. That's all you really need to do. There you go. And then this goes on this, and then it is time to start making the gingerbread house. So now I have, as you see, my colors up here, and then I have the candies that I'll be using. Just kind of getting all prepped and ready here. Very nice and colorful. I'll show you those a little bit closer in a little bit. And then the coin looking drops. I'm trying to think of what that candy reminds me of. It reminds me of something. Can't think of the name of that candy. And there is the other one. I'm trying to make it as festive as possible. And then the gumdrops. There we go. And then that takes care of all of that. All right, so now the first frosting needs to go around this outer edge and then on the sides of these. But let me just check something here. And then I will determine how I want to do this. I think I'm going to put the windows lower this time. Instead of higher, I'm going to put them a little lower so they're easier to decorate. And then 
the frosting for the edge panels. Okay, so it needs to be way on that outer edge. And as you can see, they're saying this is the front, but these two are the same, so it doesn't matter which one you use. So let's cut this here. Okay, here we go. So now just frost this outer edge. Okay. Here, I'll just turn this. There we are. That is step one. And then step two is now doing the back side of these panels here down each edge. So as you know, if you've done these before, you'll have to wait for this to dry. So it's kind of, you have to do it in stages. Let it dry before you actually get to the final decorating. And you don't want to skimp here because this is what's holding everything together. Now, like I said, you could put your windows this way or this way. I think I'm going to do this way because then you get a little bit more exposed. So this is going to go here. All right. And then we're going to go this way. Squish it in. Seems to be holding pretty good. And then the last one. So before I do the top on this, I'm going to squish this all together a little bit better, get it all locked in real nice, come back, let it dry, and then I will put the top on. All right, everything is dried pretty good, and I went around and spread it around some of the corners and the edges. So now it is time for the top section. So let me just get this on here. That's a nice quantity. That should goop right through. So you do that edge and that edge and then slide that top on now I kinda push some around this edge to hold this a little bit better in place and then you can use some cups to hold the top once you get that set alright so I want the little loops going down and you can come back and put a bead down the center Okay, so I just need to get some cups to hold it, which I will do. I'll probably do this too, maybe not. Maybe I'll leave that. The little extra kind of adds a little effect there. Okay, let's just spin it around. Seems to be holding okay on its own, so I'm just going to leave it like that. When this dries, then I will come back and then start decorating. All right, here we go. Take a look. It's... Not totally dry, but it's at about 15 minutes before you can decorate, and it seems to be holding up pretty good. And total dry time was three to four hours. I got my candy set, my color set. I noticed these colors had a little ripping tab there, but then thought, ooh, I don't want to rip it right there. So I'll be careful when I cut the tip of my Crayola crayon in blue. Let's see. I thought I'd get the top center. That's kind of what I normally do is get that that's done first but then I thought hmm, maybe instead of putting pieces on it and I might check in and out here just as I progress maybe I put some color on it and see if I can dab some blue I'm just gonna try it okay so I was kneading this one a little bit let's see how thin it is here we go And then I noticed they don't even show it on the box being used. Did you notice that? I didn't see any of the coloring. I'll show you one more time. Maybe you see it. I just see white. Oh, right here. Maybe a little bit in the decorating in the front. Oh, I must have missed that. All right. So I'll, that's what I'll probably do is something like that. But now, in between my blue... I'll squeeze in some of these. Well, it's decorating. It's how you want to do it, what you want to use. You can be symmetrical with your colors, or you can do what I just did. Whatever you want. 
Let's just see now how easy it is to decorate the front. Let me get the green. Let me see if I can make a little green line. Here we go. I don't think it's going to be easy. Let's see if I can do the wreath. It's almost gel like, isn't it? Okay. Bad. Let's see if I can put a yellow candy. Kind of pull all that up. Like I said, I might have to stop as things start to droop like that. So these colors seem to be looser. Look at that. But you don't know that till you try it. I'm gonna really put a bunch up there. Look at that. That might not work, but that's okay. Now I found something the other day I thought would be nice to add to this. It's not, it's not food related, but I can still use it. It was a little Christmas tree I found somewhere. Still has the tag on it. It was at a garage sale somewhere. I thought, hmm, it's got a little tag on it. I might put that right in front. Now normally I don't put things that are not edible, but Okay, so how they show that frosting for the other colors is not what's happening. Fortunately, I have this. Mm. We'll cover this up with this. flat one right there it seems to hold up the white seems to hold up better than those other colors so I'm just gonna put a bunch around the front here now the way I cut this bag was thick I'm gonna use it anyway they should give you two bags one that you use just to decorate with and the other one you use to put on your decoration so you can make a thinner line or just switch out the bag I guess put it in another bag okay seems to be holding up all right now in the past I've done all kinds of things on the top but I'm gonna keep it simple today in fact I'm going to try to save this bag and cut another corner thinner And I'll do that right now. There we go. So now I've cut a second corner just to see if I could outline this a little bit nicer. I remember the last time I did it, I actually went and did all of the little loops. As you can tell, I'm not following any color scheme. Okay, now the other top section. Let me turn this the right way, <laughs> and then let me turn this this way. There you go. I'm going to use those other colors, though. I'm going to use them right now. So if they drip down, it's okay. I'm going to get this done, though. It looks like they give you plenty of candy in this kit, which is nice. We've done some kits together, right, where it just seems like they give you just enough to put some decorations on but not enough to really cover it up oh 
Okay. Now, just so we can see what's going on here. Okay, let me get the yellow. Now, the yellow seems to be really thick. I wonder if that green one just wasn't right. Look at this one now. This one seems to be... See how thick that one is? That one's more like the white. I wonder... I wonder if my frosting has gone bad on the one color. Let me do this now. Let me finish the blues, the blue. I stop part way. Okay. Let's do two colors on this side. Let's do the red. Yep, the red seems to be good, just like the other one, the yellow. So now I'm beginning to think that that green was not in the best of shape. That's the way it should have been. I'll put some more on just to verify, but yeah, look, look how loose this one is. It's almost like a gel. So I can't use that one. I could, but it's gonna just melt everywhere. Let's do this one. There. See yeah, the front holding up. Yep, where I put that green, it really got saggy. So let me see if I can do my windows. That's nice. Okay. I'm gonna use up the yellow now on that other window. Almost out. There we go. One side. And then since I thought the red worked really good, I've been spending my time trying to like push these down like this to try to get it to fill up the end. Okay, here we go. Doesn't want to stick all the time. All right, now you're forcing me to fold you. Okay. This will be my Christmas centerpiece this year for the table. Well, now you can kind of get an idea how much of the colors there are. All right. I do have more candy, so let's do this. Moving right along, starting to take shape. Now I understand this is probably not how you would do it. And I understand that it's not the neatest. And I understand that there's a lot of talented people out there that make beautiful houses. 
So let's all overlook that part of it. But it's my creation. Remember, be happy with what you create. There you go. You move up. I wonder if we can use up the blue now to kind of cover up my initial error with that strange green. The blue even seems a little saggy. I'm just going to try to outline the top of this. There we go. All right. Okay, I am cleaning up, coming back. I'll show you what I have left over in regards to candy. And then I will uh, wrap it up. All right, there we go. Cue the presentation music. I will turn it around. This kind of reminded me of mustard and ketchup, didn't it? Just the way it looks and came out the color. I did not do the back. But you at least see what I did do. And you could do the edging and all that, but I think you'd have to ration out your frosting or make more. Because there just never seems to be enough of that. And there is my house. Now as far as candy, look what I have left on these. These, quite a few of those. I can add more. And then six of these, so not a bunch left over. In regards to the frosting, this is pretty much all used up. And then these, you kind of saw, I used up the yellow, used up the red, so I got a little bit of blue and most of the green, just because it wasn't working right. And I've got coloring on my fingers. So I will clean that up. But overall, what do you think of the Crayola Gingerbread House Kit? I think it's a fun kit. Yeah, you can still get it, you know, and these last for a while. I bet you the date on there, by 2018. So imagine that. Try to find one on clearance somewhere if you can. And build it, and have fun. And thanks for watching. So again, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas this year. And thanks for supporting the channel. It's really appreciated. And thanks for watching all the videos. And if you get a chance and you got time to relax, grab a snack or grab some of your holiday candy, Click that playlist for Christmas uh, the last three years, or four years, and check out some of those old videos. It really helps the channel. And thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.